Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to talk about the top 5 features in the iOS 18 update. So let's get started with the first top uh, favorite feature in the latest iOS 18 update, which is regarding the customization of the home screen. So that's uh, one of the interesting feature which is present in the latest update of the iOS 18. So where you can actually customize the home screen, uh, so in depth as well. So you can actually change the icon theme. So complete color change is available throughout the interface. It's kind of uh, possible at this moment. So irrespective of any kind of application, so every application will be in integrated with this kind of uh, customization option from the home screen so this is one of the uh, favorite feature which is present in the latest released ios 18 and not only that finally you will be able to uh, rearrange the applications in this uh, complete home screen as well so you can place the application wherever you want that's one of the feature apart from that you do get the face id application face ID option inbuilt in the applications as well along with that you can actually resize the app icon also that's also kind of possible to get the more information about the particular application or any kind of game so that's kind of favorite feature which is also present let me go back to the normal uh, application size and adjust all the rows so this is uh, one of the top favorite feature which is present in the latest released iOS 18 update so which is not possible in the previous iOS 17 and previous updates though that's one of the interesting uh, feature so customization of the home screen is my top favorite feature so next uh, interesting feature which is present in this ios 18 which is a customization of this uh, control uh, center so that's also another interesting thing so where you do get plenty of customization option available with the latest update so as you can see the complete visual changes which has been happened so now you can actually scroll to the control center to access different uh, options also as you can see here guys so you can do that just by tapping on the music option option if you want you can do that on the communication option so connections and everything will be available or you can just swipe down to access the music control and swipe again to access the connection center where everything will be integrated into the one uh, system and right now let me to click on the plus icon and there you will be able to see customization how how much in depth it is so you can actually uh, adjust and decrease the size of the each and every icon also that's also possible at this moment as you can see here guys so i did adjust and uh, do here so and each and every icon also got up upgraded with the in-depth feature for example if you had to go to the brightness option so you do have the same kind of options in the brightness and the volume also having the same but if you had to go to the torch light so in the torch light uh, you do get the option of animation of having the increasing or decreasing the brightness on the top of the panel over there and you can actually adjust the font size uh, throughout the system or just for the home only home screen only purpose you do have that option integrated and if you to click on the timer let me to show you so long press on the timer will give you the time so what you want to set directly so from here itself you can actually set the timer also that's also available at this moment that's also pretty good and screen recording is also possible if you have to long press on that you do get the option of having the selecting the application for the screen recording purpose so uh, that's also available in this um, detail and every icon has got its own uh, integrated feature if you have to long press on that so these are the customization option which is present in the control center. So these are another uh, favorite feature. So which I like uh, in the latest update of the iOS 18. So next favorite feature will be the customization of the lock screen. So in the lock screen right now, you'll be able to access your favorite application. For example, let me hit long press here and this will open uh, my WhatsApp application directly. So let me show you. So right now I'm trying to long press at this moment and it did open the WhatsApp, as you can see here guys clearly. So that's kind of a customization option which is present on the lock screen. And if you do click on long press on the lock screen, you do get a customized option. So there click on the lock screen and now you will be able to adjust the application you want. So these are the options right now you do get. So before it used to be only flashlight option, but right now there's plenty of uh, different, different options you can actually select directly. So you can choose a calculator or alarm directly from the lock screen itself. And if you have to click on the open app, you can actually choose uh, what type of application you want it uh, to open. So let me click on the open app and uh, let me select the shortcut. So you do get customization option. So click on the open app and you can choose the, what kind of application you want it to open directly. 
So another uh, most underrated feature which is present in the battery settings. So this is another option which is especially available in the battery option if you were to go there where some of the options has been changed in the battery as well. So right now if you were to go to the battery health you do get the option of seeing the battery capacity and the cycle count and the manufacture date and the first use as well. So all of the details will be available at this section and if you were to go to the charging option so right now you can actually limit the charging percentage how much you want to charge the device. So you can charge up to 80 percentage or 85, 90, 95 or 100 percentage. And you do have the option of setting to the optimized battery charging. So that's also available. So this is another uh, feature you can actually explore uh, to the settings once you install the iOS 18 update. So that's pretty good uh, features which is present. And uh, finally, the calculator application which has been uh, seen some changes. So let me show you the calculator application. So in the calculator application right now, there are a lot of things got integrated into this. So before it used to be just a simple calculator, but right now if you had to click on the calculator application, so you get the option of having the scientific calculator as well. As you can see right now, you do get a scientific calculator, a max calculator also you do have. So in this max calculator, you can actually uh, use The mathematic calculation you can actually do that let me do uh, show you the sample right now you should be able to uh, say the answer let me do do again let's click here click on the pen and and right now I think because of the direction of the plus symbol, that's why I didn't recognize properly. But right now you should be able to see the change in the answer will happen automatically. So, uh, so right now it's not connected to the internet connection. That's why there's some kind of changes, uh, this kind of delay. So let's do the simple math and let's see, as you can see, this is how the option is available at this moment. And let's go back uh, to the basic calculator. And there you do have the option of having the converter option as well. So you can actually use the different type of conversions like uh, currency converter, data, energy, force converter and fuel converter. So a lot of options are available at this moment uh, in this calculator application. So which is also got changed a lot. So these are my top five favorite features in the iOS 18 update. So which is pretty good guys. So there are plenty of other features which are present in the latest iOS 18 update. But uh, these are my top five peaks of the iOS 18. I did use this iOS 18 for the past couple of days. So after using after long, I mean couple of days, so I thought of making a video and here's a video for you all guys. And let me know in the comments, what is your favorite feature about the latest update of the iOS 18. So let me know in the comments below. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates and don't forget to check the links in the description for more videos. And definitely the home screen customization is one of my favorite uh, features. So where I do have right now, option of uh, using the applications anywhere I want on the home screen. So which I've been waiting for a long time. So meanwhile, signing off friends. Thank you for watching. I'll instead of more updates and bye.